Alright, so they've been adding new in, um, Night Sisters into the game with the Great Mothers, Morgan Elizabeth, and the two troopers. Um, and I'm just wondering, like, have they nerfed the existing Night Sisters, or have they always just kind of sucked? I don't know. Because I'm just asking this because in. Conquest, there's a feat to win so many battles with a full team of Night Sisters, and like, they cannot do it. I'm going up against teams of Gear 12, and as you can see, my core is all Relic 7, except for Marin, who's Relic 5, and they can't get through Gear 12, and I'm like, what? what is happening? I don't care if my opponent is like, top tier my, uh, I don't know, you know, the team that's like, good against... Night Sisters, let's say. It's still gear 12. Relic 7 is leaps and bounds better than a gear 12 team, so I don't care how much of their their strength is. Like, if you're talking about Pokemon, you know, weakness, if I'm, there, if I'm weak against Team X, it doesn't matter. I'm still Relic 7. That's like, again, using the Pokemon example, that's like having a fire type, having going up against a water type, let's say, but you're a fire type. But you're level 70 and your opponent is level 30. Like, it doesn't matter that they're your weakness. You're going to crush them anyways. You're you're significantly stronger. But I don't know. So, before I get into showing anything, I just want to kind of, like, take a look at these losers. <laughs> and uh, talk about what they're at. So, you know, I got Marin, all her stuff that I can have. I even have her, da her um, Omicron on her, which is only for Grand Arena, but still... I mean, these are like the base stats. Personally, I don't know what any of this really means. I should have been playing this game for nine years, but I don't know. Don't really care about it. Um, I mean, yeah, damage is low and stuff, but still, it's Relic 7. Oh, this damage is pretty good. Um, so there's Marin. Uh, my Asajj, again, all of her things are maxed out. She's got six dot mods. She's got her Omicron too again. It's for Grand Arena, uh, Grand Arena, but still, she's like as maxed out as can be. Here's her stats. Um, you know, decent critical damage, um, a decent-ish enough amount of health and protection when it's combined. Um, decent damage output, six thousand. It's not great, but it's not horrible. Uh, special damage is just about the same as Marin in the 7,000s. Uh, who we got now? Mother Talzin. Again, fully maxed out. All her um, Zetas and stuff are on her. Six dot mods. Stats. This seems to be about the same as everyone else. Uh, health and protection. Pretty significant there. 150,000 combined. Uh, speed, kind of slow. Crit damage, average. Potency is super high. I guess that would only help with like her landing plagues. Physical offense, very mid. Uh, survivability. Ooh, special offense is pretty killer, though. Okay, now we got old Daka. Also, fully maxed out. If she's got a Zeta, it's on her, etc. Here's her stats. Here we go, same as all the rest. Oh, wow, uh, another one with uh, 6, 7, 8, 158,000 uh, health and protection combined. 203 speed, not that great, but you know. Decent enough potency, under 50% tenacity, so it's okay, but not fantastic. Physical offense, not so great, but I'm sure special is great, because that's what needs to be. Yeah, it's okay, 7,000. Okay, and this should be my last one to look at. Yeah, zombie, right? Yep. So now let's take a look at zombie. All smoky and gross. Again, maxed out. If she has a Zeta, it's on there. Strength, blah, blah, blah. All this. I mean, geez, health and protection. Pretty decent overall. We're looking at almost 100 and... What is this? 173? I mean, yeah, 173,000 health combined. This is, this, is, this one has the most out of all of them so far. 180 speed. Okay, weak physical offense. But again, I'm sure the special is decent. Ooh, special is actually pretty poor too. But at the same time, Zombie's all about being a tank and being able to just keep reviving. So 
I would say the health and stuff's really what matters, and as we've noticed, it's pretty significant. So anyways, that's all the stats. But check this crap out. I got two instances that I can show in, in here, in Conquest. Uh, the first one we'll take a look at is versus Phoenix. Now, this is what I'm saying. I don't know. Maybe Phoenix is like the team to go up against Night Sisters. But it shouldn't matter because this is their gear 12 and I'm Relic 7. Why would I be losing versus this? Can I look at these stats? Do they have stats? No, because it's generic. Whatever. So let's go. Night Sister. Talzin is like the best option for a leader. There we go, do this. Now this is how I usually set them up. Is is my setup wrong? Should I try a different leader? I don't know, I think of Talzin as the best leader. But, you know, is, is this order wrong? Should I have maybe Talzin and then put Marin next to her and Old Daka third slot or something? I don't know. But here we go, I'm gonna do this on full auto because this is how I've done it before. So I'm gonna try to keep everything on the same. And, you know, we can't beat them. Granted, we don't lose. It's not like they beat us, but at the same time, I shouldn't be tying them. Like, we run out of time, and it's just a stalemate. They got their full squad still, and I got my full squad. Look, look at this nonsense, too. What is this right now? Why is Sabine taking 400,000 turns? Are you serious? That would never happen for us. What was that? What is this garbage? I love how CG cheats for themselves all the time. Why did Sabine just take about 316,000 turns in a row? Oh, that's ridiculous. Luckily, uh, you know, the zombie was doing her job and she was actually taunting. So she took that all and then just revives anyways. But... Sabine went through a whole entire cycle, killed Zombie, Zombie came back and she kept going after her. Are you serious? That would never happen for us. Us meaning, like, the player. We wouldn't get 25 billion terms, turns in a row. <sighs> Alright, why are they actually doing good now? Just because I'm trying to make a video? <laughs> Last time I got through this whole entire Phoenix Squad and we didn't win. Well, that's kind of annoying. Why did you win now? Because I'm recording? That's really annoying. And they were full health like this, too. It's not like, you know how, like, when you do this stuff, their health percentage or whatever goes down. Um, they were full health last time. Let's try this again, then. I'm, I just want to do an experiment. They'd be at 90 now. Maybe we'll lose this time. This didn't happen last time. We stalemated. it. I think I took out one of theirs, and it was a 5 on 4. I don't know why they did so well now, just because I'm recording. This is annoying. That happens all the time. Oh, here we go. Now we get to sit through Sabine taking 406 trillion turns. Oh, come on. Yep, do your nonsense. You, know, you do yours when everybody's supposed to be getting a stack of plague, but notice nobody does, so that's cool. I guess her potency is like negative, <laughs> so she can't even land her own hit. Now Sabine can take 27 quintillion moves. That's good. That's what we like. We just like standing here watching the opponents attack us. Good. Yep. Keep going. Bonus attack. Yep. This makes a whole bunch of sense. Essentially going to kill the zombie twice. That's cool. Oh. Alright. Save us when we have no health left. That's good. All right, so far we're a minute in, still haven't killed anybody. I mean, even if we do win again, this still kind of showcases my point, because my point is, is we're Relic 7 and they're Gear 12. Like, why is this taking so long to even kill any of them? It's been a minute and 15 seconds, and we've taken out nobody yet. Technically, they've killed Zombie, what, three times now? And it took us a minute and a half to finally kill one of theirs? <laughs> like... Oh, you finally landed Plague, too. Wow. <laughs> you, you finally decided to let your 100 and whatever it was percent potency actually work. That's that's good. Good job, uh, Talzin. Okay, and now they're just falling. Uh, the, Zeb must have had that uh, savior thing. That Hera can put. Oh, good. Now Zeb's going to take a trillion turns. That's cool. Again, never happened for me ever, but... 
Okay, I'm not sure what's going on because we keep winning. Granted, it's taking two minutes, though. Two minutes. Which, when you really think about that, is absolutely ridiculous. For a Gear 12 team, uh, this shouldn't be two minutes. <laughs> Relic 7 should be able to wipe them out, like, in two moves. It should be 30 seconds tops. So, anyways, there's that, and then there's another squad that I wanted to show, and it is versus... Oh, where are they? It's Ewoks. Oh, yeah, right here. <laughs> and we couldn't beat them. Stalemate against Ewoks. So, we came in here, 100%, go here, 90%, couldn't beat them. This actually is pre-recorded. I wasn't thinking in the moment, so what I'm going to do is just kind of cut that in here. So, I'm letting you know because it's not the same... I mean, it is the same team that I use now, but it's not the same per se, <laughs> because that was recorded about a week earlier than this. So, let's just get into that, and I will... Uh, there is, there's no commentary initially, so I'll just work on adding that in. So, I'm just saying it might be a little clunky, because it's not going to be a smooth transition. Anyways, let's just do it. Alright, so, hopefully this isn't too clunky, but here it is. Back to like I did before, the Gear 12 team. <laughs> My Night Sisters are actually the same at um, 90%. Marin's actually a little bit weaker here. Marin is actually only Relic 3 at this time. I have a Relic 5 now. Who knows? Maybe my reduced Relic Marin is what made the difference. But this team of Gear 12 Ewoks, I'm not able to take out. And this is full auto, as you can see up in the corner. And they don't kill me, but I can't kill them either. We we time we end up timing out. It's a stalemate. Um, full team of five versus full team of five, and it, I, I I just don't understand what 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 is going on that that a relic seven team okay minus Marin who's relic three but still can't do this. I mean, I, the only thing I can think of maybe is that the stupid Ewoks are keeping themselves like fully beefed up with buffs over there, but I guarantee, like, everything, <laughs> that if I ever tried to use a team of Ewoks versus Night Sisters, I would never win. Maybe in Grand Arena because of Omicrons, like, um, Nisa and stuff, but under normal circumstances, we wouldn't win. Also, looking at this team, they don't even have Nisa. Nisa does make a huge difference. This is almost like a basic Ewok team. What What is making them so solid that they're maintaining buffs, no debuffs on the metal, no plague, no nothing, all full health, full protection, and we're a minute and a half in so far. Like, even my team isn't that healthy, yet we're Relic 7. How does this make any sense? We got Asajj with no protection, we got Mother Talzin almost gonna lose her protection, we got old Daka gonna lose hers, um, the zombie, I haven't really been paying attention, she's probably been killed once at least though already. And yet, them over there, perfect health. Leaving this doofus that actually has debuffs on him. It's probably, yep, as I said, it's probably going to get cleared off. And there it is. Cleared right off. And all he has left on him is the plague. Which doesn't matter when the plague expires. He'll end up healing up, probably, because... Uh, no, Ewok Elder's not even here. So, yeah, what is... I, I don't get it. I don't... I, <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. I don't know if there's a bug on the... On the, um... Uh, Ewoks, I don't know if, if the Night Sisters are debuffed, possibly, just for this um, conquest to make it a little more difficult, since it's a challenge that you're supposed to complete. I don't know. But, yeah, I I don't understand what the heck is going on, but it is quite annoying, and it, it's just dumb. <laughs> like, this shouldn't be a thing right now. We should have won a very long time ago at this point, and yet here we are. No damage on them. They're still super healthy, just going for the ride. Hey, we're going to destroy these Relic 7 Night Sisters. Hey, that guy put in tons of effort to get his characters up to Relic 7, but these worthless little Gear 12s, yep, we're going to wipe right through them. That makes sense. This would be like a guy who's a huge bodybuilder, goes to the gym two times a day, five days a week for the last ten years, gets into a fight with, like, some scrawny high schooler and somehow loses, and it would be like, what? <laughs> the guy with no muscle won? <sighs> you got 
a minute and a half left. So that means it's been three and a half minutes so far. <laughs> and the Ewoks are completely healthy. I haven't even, not, not even the slightest bit hurt. They don't even need a band-aid. They got no scratches, no nothing. Zombie's probably been killed a couple of times now because she's standing there with full health and protection. So either that's heals or that's just revives. <laughs> See, and then every time that that happens, when Asajj does the heal move, it takes all the debuffs off, so I think, okay, good, maybe this will be my opportunity. But nope, we get stuck behind either, well, auto just being, either auto just being dumb, or we get stuck behind like a taunt or something, and then there's nothing that we can do about it. So we can't take anyone out, and then look, there we go, now they got all their buffs back, they got tenacity, so that makes them gonna be resistance, resistant against plague. Understand what's going on. But they're not going to take that because they got tenacity, which is kind of annoying because you know Mother Talzin has pretty high potency, so like that that shouldn't matter that they have high tenacity. We should still be able to get through it. That's kind of annoying. Anyways, here we go. They'll time it out. Zero seconds. Boom. Done. They're all full health, and yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there it was. Um, granted, slightly different. My Marin was only Relic 3, not Relic 5. I don't know if that made a huge difference or not. I mean, I guess I could check... Oh, I don't have enough energy. I was going to say, I guess I could check and do one right now to verify if things are different or not. But yeah, I, I, I just don't get it. My Phoenix is making me mad, because they, <laughs> they kept screwing up the other day and couldn't win, and now all of a sudden I got two wins. Go figure. Anytime I'm trying to record, I can't do what I want. When I do a conquest, I mean a galactic challenge video, I lose, even though I won off camera. Now this, I lose while I'm playing the game, but then win on camera. Anyways, see, so yeah, I'm just trying to figure out: do do the Night Sister suck, and I just don't realize it? <laughs> yeah, is there some buffs going on here to make this a lot more difficult than it needs to be? Um. Or debuffs, I should say. Or, yeah, buffs for the enemies. I don't know. Or, I don't, I just don't get it. It doesn't make sense. A team that beefed up should not be losing to gear 12. This should have been a breeze. I should have been able to do every single node with my Night Sisters and not have to worry about it. And, nope. Losing. So, that's all I wanted to do was pop in here and talk about that. Take a look at that. And, uh, maybe see if this gets any kind of engagement and if anybody's got any answers for me. So, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for checking this out, and until next time, I said see ya.